that's most of my youth was spent, you know, frolicking on the beach and shit. <laughs> that's what you do when you live on an island. You just wake, I don't know if you guys know that, but you just wake up and I used to look at my brothers and sisters and be like, yo, you want to go frolic? <laughs> your boy silver man back with another video and in today's video i got another stand-up comedy video for y'all today i'm reacting to mike yard racism is so confusing you guys already know that i love comedy i love to laugh today i got somebody new to the channel it was recommended by one of my subscribers and we're just gonna hop right into this but wait there's more if this is your first time seeing me on the screen make sure you murder that like button you already know what i'm going to say Comment down below what you want to see me react to next and do not forget subscribe to the channel subscribe to your boy silver for more reaction videos man a lot of y'all a lot of y'all be watching my videos and not hitting that subscribe button i wouldn't do you like that so don't do me like that man and without further ado just hop right into it i really am man i'm just like i would have been a horrible slave like i learned that about myself <laughs> I'm telling you, man, like, I mean, I would have been optimistic on the way over because I'm a Libra, you know what I mean? I might have been like, you know, maybe they just mad because it's a long trip, you know? What? They do have a lot of people to care for. It could be frustrating. <laughs> but the minute we got over here, man, and they were like, all right, you got to go pick that cotton. I'd be like, in this fucking, are you out of your mind? In this fucking heat? Are you, you got an umbrella, you want me? Are you out of, I'm not picking no fucking... They'd be like, well, I'm at the beat you. I'm like, well, easy. <laughs> what? It's like a slave master. Don't know how to use your words. Take a, take a breath. Let's talk about it for a second. <laughs> what, what if I pick at night? Is that a thing? Is that on the, uh, is that on the agenda? <laughs> That's a good cry. A lot of white folks laughed at that slavery joke. A lot of white folks laughed at that slavery <laughs> joke. America is changing. Yo. Racism is like, you can get away with a lot of racist jokes because you're doing stand-up comedy. It's supposed to be jokes. But if you're not a comedian, you can get away with it and some people will be offended. But because you're doing stand-up comedy, you kind of can get away. Where are you from? Someplace crazy, I guess. <laughs> India. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> I had an Indian dude tell me to go back to my country. How crazy is that shit, yo? We got into it with a thick ass Indian accent. We was at the fucking gas station and I went to come in and he went to come in and so we were at like at an impasse. Like, nah, I was here first. <laughs> and he just fucking started. But Indian people are adorable because they don't know how to curse. <laughs> you ever hear them curse? Like, you guys are horrible. It's like you have you don't practice much. You just <laughs> you just put curse words in. Like, I know this is a curse word, I'm gonna say it. He was like, I am fucking myself. I'm like, who are you? Who are you really mad at though? Cause I thought this was an argument between us. Now you just taking it on yourself. You're selfish. <laughs> you are selfish as fuck. <laughs> it's so adorable. He's like, go back to your fucking country. Oh my they don't gosh. like us much. They don't pick us up in the cabs. They ride right by us. No, Brooklyn. I'm like, how you gonna just assume I'm going to Brooklyn? You know what I'm saying? I mean, I am, but you gotta let me say it. First, <laughs> I, I, am I just realized what he said. It makes me mad because they being stereotypical, but I'm, I am going to Brooklyn. So it's like, fuck, I, should I be mad? I don't know. God damn it. Racism is so confusing. <laughs> <laughs> I am from Brooklyn. I grew up in Brooklyn, East New York. I was born, I'm not originally from there. I was born in the Virgin Islands. Beautiful island called St. Croix. I don't know if you guys are familiar. Wait, what? Uh, He's from St. Croix? That's where I'm from. Holy, I didn't know that. Uh, beautiful island. So as you might have guessed, yes, most of my youth was spent, you know, frolicking on the beach and shit. <laughs> That's what you do when you live on an island. You just wake, I don't know if you guys know that, but you just wake up and I used to look at my brothers and sisters and be like, yo, you want to go frolic? <laughs> and they'd be like, of course we want to go frolic. You don't, don't still have my frolic shoes on? Are you ready to frolic before you? And then we would just go out and frolic in the beach. You've seen the commercials, all the little black kids splashing the water. Come to my island. It's not like that, so don't even assume. It's literally just like the U.S. 
but really small, basically. It's just really small. That was us. They never paid. They never paid us, yo. You just see yourself on TV like, oh shit, I'm on TV. How the hell did that happen? I was just frolicking. <laughs> I gotta frolic some more to be a star. <laughs> This guy, bro. That's how it was. And, uh, when I was 13 years old, my father decided that he was sick of his family being safe. <laughs> that's the only thing I could come up with, because that's essentially what I saw. Because he decided that we were living, he, we were moving to uh, Brooklyn, which sounds good. He didn't say Brooklyn, he said New York City. You know, he <laughs> tried to, you know, sauce it up. <laughs> <laughs> moving to New York City. He was like, oh shit, Park Avenue. That, that's not what it was. <laughs> We moved to East New York, Brooklyn at the time, oh. the worst neighborhood in America. Oh. Yeah. Literally. Like, I'm not saying worse. Oh. Like, you know how, like, when white girls get upset and they're like, this is the worst. I'm not using it. <laughs> I'm not using it in white girl context. What I'm saying is, is that they had a bad neighborhood oh, competition. Man. And they scoured the entire nation of America. You know how big this fucking country is? And they went all the way to the other side and came back. It was like, nah, y'all doing something special over here, boy. It was the type of neighborhood where you could get robbed by somebody you know. That's when you know you live in a shitty neighborhood. When you're walking down the street and the brother's like, don't move. And you're like, Toby? <laughs> but you live upstairs. <laughs> It's gonna be weird in the hallway from now on. <laughs> and he's like, shut up, man. Don't talk to me while I'm at work. That was his job. <laughs> I don't live there anymore, though. I live in a nice white neighborhood now. And I, I hope they stay. My good fingers crossed. I live in a heavy Jewish neighborhood. Yeah, yeah, Jews don't run from nobody. I don't know if you guys, I don't know if you guys are familiar with Jews. <laughs> you yell at them, they'd be like, ah, well. Yeah. <laughs> what? And I guess we're just gonna be yelling every fucking day. That's what's gonna happen. Cause I'm not going anywhere. I know they ain't running from me, man. <laughs> they don't even talk to me. I try to, I'd be trying oh to be cheerful in the morning. I know this could be jarring when you're not used to it. <laughs> One night you went to sleep, it was a nice Jewish neighborhood. You wake up in the morning, and <laughs> I'm in the bodega. The bodega? That can, <laughs> can fuck with you, like, wait a minute, you know what I mean? So they don't say shit, I try. I'd be like, good morning. How you don't speak to motherfucker that do this shit? Good morning. Wait. I did make first contact the other day, though. Wait, 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 wait. People do that? Like, they say good morning like this? So, like this? Did it? What? Hold on. Hold on. Good morning. I did make first contact the other day, though. That's weird. I was excited, man. I was like, it's finally happening. Two years. Two years I've been here. Finally. Fucking first contact. These teenagers came up to me. I guess they were being rebellious. <laughs> but I will talk to them. <laughs> I had been practicing. I was ready. I was ready. I, I, you know, you got only get one time to make a good first impression, right? So I'm like, now let's go. So he comes up to me. He's like, "Excuse me, sir." I was like, "Shalom, my brother." <laughs> I was fucking ready. Oh. He was like, "Whatever." I'm like, really? I don't think that's your response, but okay. <laughs> then he goes, I, "I don't, I don't mean to bother you, but would you mind lighting my cigarette for me?" That's what he said to me. Could I light his cigarette? God, I keep hitting my toe. That's what the. That's how we gonna do it. I was like, no, I'm not lighting your fucking cigarette, man. He's like, no, 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 you don't understand. It's a Sabbath, and I am not allowed to make fire on the Sabbath. I was like, if you don't get the fuck out of my face, no, <laughs> you think I'm stupid? You just told your friends, watch me get the black dude to light my oh. cigarette. You think I don't know what's going on here? <laughs> Get out of my face, little boy. I left. I went upstairs. I was so mad that oh. I, I was thinking about it, retracing steps. And I was like, how'd it go so bad so fast? <laughs> and then I thought about what he said. He was like, make fire. I'm like, people don't really talk like that. So I Googled it. Turns out he was not lying. <laughs> not at all. Apparently, Jews are not allowed to make fire on Saturday. <laughs> I didn't fucking know that. <laughs> I didn't know that I did. Because I, I fucked up first contact. 
So now every Saturday, I walk around my neighborhood with lit cigarettes just trying to make up. Thank you, guys. Man, I was not expecting for him to be from St. Croix. That's crazy. That was the end of the video. If you guys enjoyed my reaction, you already know what to do. Hit that like button. Hit, whoa. Murder that like button. Comment down below what you want to see me react to next. It could be more comedy, it could be anything. That doesn't matter. Just comment down below. Don't be scared. I don't bite. I don't. And subscribe to the channel. Subscribe to your boy. How are you gonna watch the kid and not subscribe? Come on now. Don't do me like that. Don't do me like that. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Yes, sir. <laughs>